Rahul Gandhi is facing his biggest leadership test as the party has been jolted by rebellion in two states. In Assam, top Congress minister and number two in the Assam cabinet, Himanta Biswa Sarma, resigned after voicing dissent against Rahul Bhatt, Chief Minister Tarun Gogoi. In Maharashtra, Congress strongman and industries minister Narayan Rani stepped down. He was reportedly upset after not being elevated as the chief minister. Now, even Chief Minister Chavan's attempt to mollify him did not work. Clearly, the un rest within the Congress party is intensifying. Absolute madness has prevailed now. There is no, no question of the direction. There is no question of taking Congress to the uh, uh, Congress back to the power on 2016. Now the entire purpose is that let me flow 2000 up to 2016. Then whatever what happened after that I am not bothered. So after that, we considered everything and thereafter I say we have decided that continuing under the Gogoi ministry is not advisable mentally, physically, politically because now it is no longer advisable for anybody to work under Chief Minister Gogoi mentally, physically, politically, not nowhere. It is no longer it is advisable. So I have decided to tender my resignation. I have already tendered my resignation to His Excellency Governor of Assam and I am also sending another copy of my resignation to the Chief Minister of Assam after this press conference. I can assure you that as long as Gogoi is Chief Minister, I will never come back to the ministry. That is a commitment before all of you and which is irrevocable and which we, I am not going to compromise with that. So somebody may say, no, no, somebody will request him, he will withdraw the resignation. So that chapter is not there. Two years back, that was a different reason. Sometime I will share with you why I have to withdraw the resignation. But today is a different story altogether. Under Chief Minister Gogoi, I am not going to come back in the ministry, but we will be in the party. We'll, within the party format, we are going to continue. We will continue to oppose Mr. Gogoi's policy, Gogoi's ineffectiveness, and Gogoi's de design to create a massacre, to, to take the Congress party to a new law. Actually, he has a very bad design of destroying Congress in Assam. Why I have said so, I will individually elaborate later on. But we are going to oppose those things within the party format, within the party and inside Assam Assembly. We will oppose Gogoi on the issues and on the principles and the issues concerning people of Assam. Political editor Navika Kumar is uh, with us uh, for these developments. Uh, Navika, in both cases, the warning bells had been ringing for quite a while, but the Congress leadership in Delhi did not act at all to resolve the issues being brought to the fore. That's right. Uh, whichever way you look at it, whether it's Maharashtra or Assam, the warning bells uh, have been there uh, not uh, for uh, a few days, but for months now, uh, where both Narayan Rane and uh, Himanta Biswa Sarma have been uh, giving the warning signals to the central leadership of the Congress party. But the high command culture of the Congress has uh, refused to look at the warning signals on the ground. In fact, they have gone in with parachuted uh, leaders, both in uh, uh, Maharashtra with Prithvi Chavan having the backing of the Congress High Command as well as Tarun Gogoi having the backing of the Congress High Command whereas uh, the MLA's uh, aspiration on the ground have been different whether in Maharashtra it's going to spread to other MLA's we don't know but certainly in Assam it's a situation where at least 28 MLA's have uh, uh, come out and have decided to play the role of an opposition now that shows the complete uh, 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 you know no confidence against the Chief Minister in Assam and, and that is something Something that the Congress should have recognized the warning signals were there but Rahul Gandhi as well as Sonia Gandhi refusing to see those uh, signals and for the moment it has crisis on its hand in both Assam and Maharashtra Maharashtra goes to polls in October and clearly the Congress certainly uh, didn't need this kind of uh, trouble in Maharashtra in Assam 